Space is Queenesia, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bring to episode 8 of Sunshine in the Mirror. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Which means we're going to see the whole, the whole group sing tonight. Ready. That's my intro in my yeah. Wait, oh my god. That is like huge. Oh my god. Yeah, but you sickly wish you were off duty, babe. <laughs> Here you go. Ha, ha, ha. 
I love how he lurks. Oh, ducked out. Oh, my God. <laughs> that that's literally me at work today. Working my butt off and <laughs> being super duper tired. Oh no. You on your own. Hey. Uh -uh. Yeah, that was me today. Running back and forth, doing so many things within five hours and 30 minutes. Uh, seriously? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, babe, I was like that too when I came home. <laughs> Please hang out with them. I need my first years to baby and <laughs> be together. 
You sure? Oh. The girlfriends hitting it off. <laughs> Thanks for breaking her fall, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, Daya. They all got their place. Oh. You were at the stand with it. No, don't say that. Divide and conquer. You don't find it, babe. Where? But very unlikely. Uh, uh, 
Mm -hmm. Think about everything you did today. I'm coming back. Right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. You put it down. Oh. He settled it on the horse. It was on a horse. There was ponies. A carriage, or really, no, the, um, the float. Mm -hmm. So, it's on a pony. Be riding lilacs. That's so cute. Anything? Hey, and that would be way too late. What's up? Yeah, this is a butterfly. Oh, there it is! Girl, that's like when somebody loses their phone. Jesus. Because your phone is your life. Oh my God. There you go. Yes, apologize. Yes, my baby. Yes, my best girl. Thank you. Mm hmm Yeah, but your friendship with the rest of them won't be. I'm already crying. Oh my God.
That was a pretty song. Oh my god. Everything down to the last wire and everything was fucking perfect. Oh my god. Stop it. Uh, this group. Oh, I love this group so damn much. I can't. <laughs> just make me so happy oh my god i'm such a fucking mess <laughs> oh but this song was beautiful i i mean the one thing I'll, I'll say about it and i think it's the same thing how i said with nijikasaki's um season one season two i do wish that they did give subtitles but it's okay we're in the moment with the song so i get it i i was like mm. I just want to feel the emotion, the happiness, the little sadness of a tear or something. And then we can worry about the words and such. But it was a good performance. I loved the background. It kind of give, gave a lot of feels towards, um, I do not know the song. I don't remember the name of the song, but I remember the outfits. So they're in an aquarium and yo, it is pretty much like the, the main singer of it. And she's wearing this really pretty blue outfit that looks like a mermaid as, and so is everybody else. But of course, Yo is like very more detailed because she is the one who is going to be the center for that song. And it kind of is almost like a, a continuation, but except this time, Yohane is the center and she is the one who is singing a song and such. And so, I mean, seriously... This was a damn good episode, but still, for it to be about not only the festival, but also Yohane losing the one thing besides Lilaps that is very much important to her. And even when Lilaps over here saying, like, you don't really necessarily need the staff. You can still continue singing without it. But it's almost like the staff is her lifeline. And without that lifeline, she feels very much hopeless. And so I do get it and truly understand at that moment why Johanne lashed out on my laps because I think if anyone, you know, stole my phone, if they um, took anything that is like very valuable to me, phone, PlayStation, um, I've had, hell, even my dog. My dog is my baby and such and I love him so much. Girl, <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have the chance and such. You know, you get your butt kicked. But if they tried, because, like, literally something happened kind of today. I was in the store, um, and my mom was hanging out with my dog outside. And this guy was looking at my mom and my dog a little too freaking much. And my mom literally went like this to my dog, basically instigating and saying, Hey, if you try something, like, try me. You better get your butt kicked. And such. And so, at the same time, it's almost like, okay, yes, Johanne, what, there's going to be one day, in my opinion, and I think we're going to see it soon with this series before it's done, where I think she's going to slowly but surely um, be like, I don't need this staff. Um, so, okay. excuse me, there's going to be a point where she might say, I, this staff has been with me since the beginning of this, but it's now my turn to still keep it with me, but instead of using it as my lifeline. And I hope we get to see that at least by the end of this series because it will evolve her a little bit more because, of course, yes, yeah, she's relying uh, so much on it and such. But, I mean, yeah, it was nice to see everybody all hang out again for another episode. I mean, besides last week with Girls' Night and then this week with the festival. But you ain't give me um no preview or anything, did they? Because I, I don't think they did. Hold up. <laughs> Watch it be nothing. Oh, no, there we go. Fine line ups. Uh, Lilaps, ma'am, why are you running away? Because see, you know what, and I gotta say this too, ever since episode one, 
or episode, I think it was three or four. I've been very skeptical on Lilaps. And it feels like she she knows more than she's letting on. I don't know why. But maybe we might get context to that next week. Because something about her is a little, like, and I love her to death. She might be, like, my freaking other favorite character in the show. Besides our main nine and such. But the way she does act, and especially the time when she was, like, apologizing to Johanne in her sleep. Um, still have not gotten context on that. So hopefully if next week is supposed to be a Lilaps focused episode that we do get a lot of clarity on a lot of things. Because I think just as much as myself, other people do truly want to know more about Lilaps as a character in a nutshell. Like, yeah, we know like Lilaps is afraid of bugs and such, but it seems like deep, deep down there, there has to be something more about her. And so it's just like, it, uh, itching its way <laughs> and trying to crawl its way out so that we the audience can know a little bit more about her but other than that guys that's my action view towards episode eight of sunshine in the mirror if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day and join my squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next sunday from when i come home from work for episode nine until then i will see you guys all next time bye guys